Welcome to the RICS UK Awards 2022. The Heritage Project category honours excellent work in the conservation of a single building or a group of buildings or structures and covers renovation or conversion to a new or original use. Let's take a look at our shortlist. like to thank our headline sponsor Seeker and wish all the entrants good luck. Don't forget to share your success using the hashtag RICS Awards. We are delighted to announce that the first regional winner in this category is the Buxton Crescent Hotel and Thermal Spa Project in the East Midlands, nominated by the Trevor Osborne Property Group. Lying derelict for decades, this building, sitting at the real heart of the town, has been restored in a sympathetic but modern way to create a major attraction to this Derbyshire spa town, making it a catalyst for wider town and regional regeneration. The winner for the South East is Cliveden Conservatory Cafe, nominated by the National Trust. This project was notable for its team leader role, filled by the youngest female building surveyor at the National Trust. This demonstrates the Trust's commitment to diversity and inclusion, delivering a complex and challenging conservation project, adapting the building for the future to be enjoyed by visitors to Cliveden for many years to come. In Scotland, the winner is Provost Skeen's House, nominated by Faithful and Gould. The judges thought this was an excellent series of outcomes demonstrating attention to detail consideration of historical features, innovation and determination along with high levels of communication. And the winning project for the North East is Seaton de Laval Hall, nominated by Mosdale Gillett Architects. The judges thought the team's skill in combining traditional craft and contemporary solutions within this complex and significant site has improved the visitor experience while securing the fabric of the buildings and structures for the future. Remember, more details on each project can be found on rics.org forward slash UK Awards. For Yorkshire and Humber, the winner is the Sir William Henry Bragg Building. This project highlighted a strong collaborative approach to a challenging stakeholder environment. It was achieved by embracing the existing features of the building and complementing it with sustainable technologies and features throughout. The outcome was a Bream-rated excellent world-class teaching facility. The next winner is St Paul's Cathedral, equal access project in London, nominated by Caro Architecture Limited. This project showcased a carefully considered design, the most significant intervention in St Paul's Cathedral in 300 years, which provides ease of access into the cathedral to a wider audience. The next winner is the Elizabethan House in the Southwest, nominated by Dietrich Hudson Facetti Architects. The judges thought this project was a spectacular and scholarly restoration of an important Grade II listed building. There was a commitment to conservationist principles throughout the project and the new interventions were carefully considered to allow for the building to continue to be used as a museum without impacting on its heritage significance. For the West Midlands, the winner is The Exchange at the University of Birmingham, nominated by MGAC and RLF. This project was chosen because of the impressive refurbishment of a neglected high-profile building in the centre of Birmingham. It has been delivered to a very high standard, creating a wow factor. RICS will be sharing your successes across the UK with our media outlets following these announcements. Don't forget to share your success using the hashtag RICS Awards. The penultimate winning project is The Schoolhouse at the Methodist College for Northern Ireland, nominated by Hamilton Architects. The judges thought this project was a successful revitalisation of an iconic but tired building into a modern, fit-for-purpose accommodation at the heart of the school. The winner for the Northwest is 
the Old Library, nominated by Arcadis. This project demonstrated the outstanding achievement of a team that overcame the discovery of unexpected severe damage from the 13 years it had stood empty to complete a sensitive reconstruction despite budget constraints. Congratulations to all our Heritage Project Regional winners and the teams and surveying professionals working tirelessly to deliver these first-class schemes. From small projects to large-scale developments, all of these have positively impacted communities and the built environment across the UK. Well done to everyone. We would once again like to thank our headline sponsor, Seeker, and you for watching. Keep a lookout for further videos throughout the day on our YouTube channel and website. All our winners will go on to compete at the National Grand Final in London on the 21st of October. Further details on the Grand Final can be found on our website.